Yeah. 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 Thunderstorms threaten nearby. If they come much closer, they will have to abort the dive. After 40 minutes, there are still no Kandaru Asu. Is it too shallow after all? Don't want that light on it. Oh, there's two of them in front of me now. Matter of fact, there's three because one is hitting my backside. They're unbelievably energetic. It's almost as though they figure, well, this meal isn't going to last long. I better take advantage of it while I can. Nearly blind, Kandarua Sioux tracks its prey by scent. Its streamlined body allows it to writhe, gorging inside its victim. Tell you this, things are starting to heat up. We now have kangaroo all going after this fish in front of me, grabbing it and twisting and turning as they're going after the fish so enthusiastically that there's no way I could get this close if I wasn't wearing this helmet. They've eaten a hole in the top of the fish. Now they're popping through the skin. It's so are they amazing. eating it from the inside out? It looks like. Maggots, yes, I would say they are eating it from the inside out. Oh my God, they're going after my stomach now. It's getting just a little bit too close for comfort. Perhaps only their wetsuits are saving the divers in water infested with Kandaru Asu. Although the reputation of the piranha is legendary, could it be that these are the true monsters of the Amazon? I'm just glad that these are scavengers and not predators because I can't imagine that piranha are any more aggressive than the kangaroo. 